what's going on guys we got something a little bit different today to look at so now before i start this video i don't condone smoking it'd be a lot cooler if you did <laughs> um as a matter of fact this is more of something that's designed for outdoors but i am a smoker <laughs> And I do like a cool lighter. So, not saying that any of that is cool, but, you know, that's my little spiel there. So, inside here, we have a little statement. Thank you for purchasing this product. I am Shimanuya from Japan. Why did I do that deep voice? I'm an idiot. <laughs> the product is delivered to you brand new and authentic and blah 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 it's high quality this and that and it is because these are actually pretty well known um so under the foam here we have if you're not familiar with it the field lighter from douglas the douglas field lighter is a japanese made high-end field lighter it does work with your typical, you know, Zippo style fluid, which I don't have any right now to demonstrate. But if you can read Japanese, you can kind of see these things here and they do show a little picture diagram. So I think we'll be able to figure it out. Um, but on the bottom here, you can see these caps and um, yeah, this thing comes apart. Um, inside here is included an extra little flint which is pretty cool. And yeah, only one guys, so don't mess it up. Here's the lighter. Uh, you can get these with a diamond plating stainless steel, which is kind of like their high end one. Um, you can get these in brass. You can get these in titanium, I believe. Uh, all different variations over the years. Uh, but this one is made of aluminum because aluminum dissipates heat very well. So I like that. And um, yeah, that's how it works right there. So you can just crank it up. And if it's got lighter fluid, it's going to light up. You got a little replaceable serviceable wick here. Um, and when you're done, because these don't really blow out easily, they're kind of windproof. <laughs> <laughs> Um, which is the idea so you just close it and the fire goes out and then underneath here is this is the little area where your flint's gonna go um, and then right down here you have the little chamber area where you put your fuel so pretty easy to operate uh, very serviceable looks like it's very nicely made the threads are so clean this is kind of like what I think of with Japanese made knives a lot of times. They're very precise, very clean. I mean, yeah, they, that culture just really puts pride in their work and it really comes out. Um, just going to pull this out because this is a short video anyways. So might as well look at the whole thing. Here's your little plunger right here. All right. And then, of course... Here's your little flint. So when you get these brand new out of the package, um, you just slide this little guy right in here. Go all the way up at the top. Put this little plunger guy in here. Everything's just very nicely fitted. I mean, you're gonna have to put a little pressure down. It's slightly spring loaded. Then just crank her up. and you're back in business pretty cool so i will enjoy this um i was so tempted to get one of the fancy ones but i knew this was going to be very lightweight it's not a tiny little lighter um it's not big either but you know that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> hmm. i doubt she's ever said that to you 
uh, compared to like a pocket knife here it is next to the Rockwell you know it's not huge but it's gonna be in the pocket it's gonna be, you're gonna feel it that's what she said <laughs> so it's probably better to get something lighter weight so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I mumbled a lot, but this was kind of a fun one. We did something a little bit different than a watch. And a little bit different thing than a knife. So this is the Douglas Field Lighter. Hope you guys like this one. Anyways, we'll catch you guys all on the next one.